Hey guys, we're back again, and today we're going to be creating a Power Apps that is going to be able to dis display live stock tickers from the market. And this is not going to be constantly updating, but um, you can pull in five requests per minute, and that's going to be a free API. So five requests per minute is pretty good for a free API. Special thanks to David Khalif from Microsoft for showing me this cool feature, and um, I'm just putting it in video format to show you guys. So without further ado, and you know, keeping this video short, just like I mentioned in my last video, let's get started. So here we are at alphavantage.co, and the first thing we want to do is create the API key so that we can, you know, get the stock ticker prices because Power Apps doesn't come with that automatically. So we go to alphavantage.co. You can you can get API keys from other websites, but this one it's free. You know, it's good. And then I'm also telling you how to do it here. So you can go ahead, go to this website, click on get your free API key today, type in your information. Say you're a software developer, your organization, your email, um, say you're not a robot, get free API key, and then after you click on this button, it's going to go ahead and give you an API key right here. So we're just going to save that for later. And now we want to go to flow to create a new flow. And uh, what, what we're going to be creating is pretty much this flow right here, right? So this, this, this flow is going to be able to help us get that information that we're looking for from alpha vantage and then post it uh, into our and get it from from the website and put it into our power app pretty much and that this is what that flow is going to be able to do and we're going to need this url here right here so i'm just going to copy that i'll put it in the description below but we need this url so that we're able to get that information from the website so here we are on flow i'm going to i'm going to show you how to create the flow now uh, go to create, and then we want an instant flow, and you can name it whatever you want, stock, price, lookup, right? Um, and we want to trigger it from Power Apps, because that's where we're creating it, and then just click on create. So our first step is we want to go and get some information from an HTTP website. So you click on HTTP right there. The method is get, so change the method right there to get. And then we're going to request the URL from there. So this is my other API key that I did, but I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's delete all that stuff. There we are. Okay, so what we want is we're going to be putting the symbol of the stock ticker that we want right here after the equal sign right here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to ask that in Power Apps so that we're able to tell Power Apps which ticker we want to look up. So that I'm pulling that information from this text input and then pu putting it into this submit button right there. So let's go back to our thing. So what we want to do is ask for that information in Power Apps. So we just click on Ask in Power Apps right there. So now, whenever we put in information in that text box, we haven't created it yet, by the way. Um, we're going to create it. So when we put information into a text box, it's going to route that over here, and then we can look the ticker up. So the API key is that API key that we just created. So we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to put it right directly into the link. And that's going to stay the same every time, so you don't have to worry about it at all. OK, so next we're going to do a new step. And our next step is to basically get the data in the format that we want. So type in JSON. And then you want the parse JSON one. And we're going to get the body from the HTTP right there. So the content is going to be the body from the HTTP. And then the schema is basically the format that we want it in. And to get that, we're going to need a sample of it. So go back to your HTTP and then copy this link right there. And then paste it into your URL. And obviously change this to a real stock ticker. So let's just do Microsoft, which is MSFF, I mean NSFT. Uh, API key is going to stay the same, so we want to go to that link, and basically this link is giving us this information right there. So we want to copy this right there. We want to copy it. This is all the information that we need, and basically Power Apps needs to get the right format. So we need to tell what the format is to Power Apps. So now that I copied this, we're going to go to generate from sample, and then just paste it, and then click done. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then new step. So that's, that's our parse, right? Um, we're going to get the body from the content, and then we gave them the format that um, it's going to be receiving the data in. And then we want a new step, which is choose an action. And then what we want is a response, because we need to tell Power Apps the information. 
So it's going to be this one right here, response, and then request is right below it. Status code, keep that the same. You don't need that. Body, this is going to be the body from our JSON from our previous step. And then the schema is the same thing. We're gonna be telling it what format to use. So click, click on generate from sample right there and then just paste it right in. Same thing, I pasted I pasted this thing in again. And then uh, that should work actually, that's that's our entire flow. So we're asking, the only thing we're asking from Power Apps is this thing and then the rest will do its magic. So let's go ahead and save that. So this is called stock price lookup, right? So let's go back to our Power Apps and now let's create the application itself. Um, I, I'm not gonna show you guys how to create this thing completely, you know, make it really nice. And obviously you guys can do the user interface and user experience about that yourself, but I'm just gonna tell you how to get this information from the stock ticker. So now that we have our flow there, first let's insert a button to get that information from the flow. And you can also do this on your app right here like if you start the app you can get that information but I'm just gonna do it in a button to show you guys more succinctly so go to your button and then on select okay so you go to your button and then you go to action right here and then we go to power automate and we want to click on the flow that we just made which is the stock price lookup so go ahead and add that All right Okay, and then the only thing we're asking, remember we made our flow, when we made our flow, we're only asking for the stock price ticker that we want, and it's asking for that right there. So um, we don't have anything to put that in right now, so let's go ahead and insert a text input right there. Let's erase the default, and then stock ticker right there. Okay, so now we have a place for the user of our Power App to enter the stock ticker they want to look up. So this is the stock ticker, and this is called text input two, right? So I'm just going to stock ticker right there. So now this label is called stock ticker. Let me decrease screen one there, close screen one, right? So we have the stock ticker right here, and then so basically we want to link that to our our flow. I keep calling it flow. It's called Power Automate now, but you know. So stock ticker text. So basically, whenever we enter our stock ticker now, it's going to run that into our flow right here, which is then going to run that into the website. So if we typed in MSF MSFT here, if we typed it in here, it's basically going to go to this website, and then it's going to collect this information. Which, since we gave it a response right there we can put it right into Power Apps. So um, what you wanna do is this function, but we want to, since this is multiple pieces of data, we want to put it into a collection here. So just type in in front, clear collect, and then whatever you want the name of your collection to be. So I'm just gonna put um, collect SP, which is SharePoint, com, um, not SharePoint, <laughs> stock price, right? Collect the stock price, and then these are the items and then we just close it off. So it's gonna be, this is this is our Power Automate, and then we just want to store that information into collect SP right there. So how do we display that information? Now that we've collected the, the um, information, how do we display it? So let's go and put in a label here. Okay, so to display this information, basically we just need to get the information out from the collection. So first of all, I'm actually gonna put some information in there because right now there's no stock ticker, so there's no information. So I'm gonna put um, Apple, for example, right? So I'm gonna click on the button. Okay, so that's all good, the button's done. So it hasn't done anything because we haven't done anything with the application. But now that if we go to view and then we go to collections, you can see that collect SP now has information in it. Now we just have to display that information. And to get that, we go to our label. And you know, it doesn't have to be a label. You can display it anywhere else also. But I'm going to my label here, and then I'm going to look for collect SP. Now the thing is, since this is a collection, we need to indicate which one that we want. So you have to click on, um, you have to type in first uh, before it. So first, now we can just go dig deep into that first uh, part of the collection, which is just Apple, right? So we can put first parentheses collect SP or whatever your collection is called dot 
and then it's going to say global quote right there. You can click on that and then give it another dot. And then now you can see here, we can just pick which one that we want. And if you recognize these texts, it's not a coincidence, symbol open high. We go back to that website, it's going to say symbol open high, low price, volume, whatever, right? So we literally just transfer this information into our power app right there and then we can display which one we want so let's see um, we're gonna want the close oh, previous close sure why not previous close for Apple so we typed in Apple here and then yeah you can see the price right there showed up so there you can see that we're displaying Apple's previous close price. And then if you want to change something else, you just take off that last part and then you click on something else. So for example, open. So this is Apple's opening price. And then we can also convert this into val a value like that. And then it's going to display it nice and succinctly right there. So it doesn't have like all those decimals. Yeah, and then we can make this bigger. So that's really cool guys. We can display stock ticker prices in our power apps now And I'm just gonna make it bold for example And you know you can edit however edit this however you'd like and you know make it look good So I have mine like this for example um, AMD for example I keep saying for example <laughs> Yeah, you can see AMD stock price. So I have the high the low and then I believe this is the close price or open I'm not sure but yeah you can display whatever you want and then let's say we want something else so let's copy this text box I just copied it and then pasted it and then we can go in here and then change it so what are we looking at 324 I don't know what ticker that is let's go input symbol oh and this is not a value since it's just text right right there so the symbols Apple and it's trading at 324.19. And then uh, if you also want to put a dollar sign in, in front of your number, you just put the dollar sign in quotes like that, and then you put and, and then the value. So you have the dollar sign and then the value of that right there. And then we can center this however you'd like. Yep, center this looks good and we can play this application and then it'll change accordingly also so let's do MU button click on it which probably change that so it's displaying MU's price right now too so that's really cool and really powerful guys now we can display stock ticker prices in our power apps and we can send in five requests every minute so um, we can request for a new stock five times every minute MU so uh, let's say let's say our company is MU and you know we just want to make it a status bar we can put that up at the top okay that looks really bad but <laughs> you, you you get the point right we can display stock ticker prices on our power apps now so yeah that's the end of the tutorial pretty much we just need the API from Alpha Vantage so we got that here and then we created that flow that we made um, in the middle of the video getting the HTTP from this Alpha Vantage website and then reformatting it so Power Apps can read it and then we send it off to Power Apps and then we ask for the user input of which stock price ticker they want and we click on the button which is going to be named I don't know submit we submit so we enter the stock ticker price we submit the button and then we get to see all the information on the stock that we chose and you know I only have two pieces of information here but this thing has 10 things so we can display all this stuff we can display the open the high the low current price volume last trading day etc 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 and you know you can you can have a list of so many things here so that's really cool and you know you can even create a little application where you just ask for your ticker like that and then you click on it and it submits and then you know if you're trading stocks for example I don't know if you guys are doing that with power apps but you can you know do calculations on these numbers too and calculate do automatic calculations of returns and you know all your ratios and everything so that's really cool so thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to put stock tickers into your power apps make sure you like comment and subscribe it's really helpful for me and it makes me happy too. So um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.